What is your deepest, darkest secret? I got fired. Never told anyone that because I'm embarrassed. I couldn't pick up the pieces after my divorce. Would go weeks without showering or brushing my teeth. I found my baby blanket from my youth in a trunk and wrapped it around myself that night. Best sleep I had had in years. I keep it in my bed since then. I am a 42-year-old man. I stole my brother's Ghostbusters t-shirt and made an email account from the shirt napper to ransom it back to him as a mystery for him to solve. Unfortunately, he died a few weeks later before never noticing the emails. Everyone at my job tells me everything complains about each other to me and I just agree with whatever they say regardless of what I actually think. Nothing feels real to me and I sometimes wish I could be hit by a car on the way to work so I could be out for a week or two. Live in the only major urban centre in a very rural area where there's all kinds of suburbs, road construction, gravel pits, etc. Whenever I see heavy equipment that doesn't get moved or is left unattended, I sneak into the worksite at night, climb in the always unlocked bulldozer or whatever the fuck it is, and proceed to lay on the horn in the dead of night before scrambling away. It has been a decade since I started and I think now I've honked the horns of just about every type of heavy machinery that has won. When I was maybe seven-ish I went to the grocery store with my mother. When she was checking out I went to turn the gumball machine to see if anyone left quarters in there and didn't spin it all the way. Well one of them was broken and I spun the sucker until my pockets were full of gumballs. When we got in the car my mother asked what was in my pockets. And I told her nothing. She still knows nothing to this day. She did however say if one of those machines was broken and you just kept turning them, that's stealing. I sure fooled her. My dad had a pot pipe made of wood in the garage. I used to smoke out of it all the time because he didn't realize I knew it was there. Anyway, I didn't have a lighter one day and I used a blow torch in the garage to smoke out of it. Completely destroyed the pipe. About 15 years later, my dad tells me about how he lost this pipe he made in his shop class in the 70s. Oops. I once said I only had five avocados in self-checkout when I damn well knew there were six avocados in that bag. I am the culprit of the 1986 pudding cup incident, and not my sister. In grade 6 1986, we were asked to write a short story during class. I wrote as much of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy as I could in the hour provided. I knew it word for word. I got as far as the interior of the Vogan ship before time ran out. I farted so bad and smelly once they had to evacuate my Spanish class to search for a gas leak. I want my dad to die. My dad is a piece of shit. He has tortured my mom and myself since childhood. He has had chondrosarcoma bone cancer for four years now. I have no remorse for him suffering from this. I'm rather angry that my family has to suffer because of it. I just hope it all comes to an end very soon so that I can live a peaceful life. It's so emotionally exhausting. I was molested by my cousin, nobody knows, he recently died karma drug OD, Everyone kept asking why I wasn't upset edit I was about 8 or 9 when this happened I'm 41 now I remember it happening several times he was 16 or 17, I haven't said anything to my family as my mum and his mum's sisters are very close. My deepest darkest secret is that I still sleep with a night light on because I'm afraid of the dark. Don't judge me, it's comforting okay? I've done steroids and attempted suicide. The only thing thing I've wanted in life is to be loved. I yelled that shit was absolutely delicious and creamy over the Walmart intercom. I'm waiting for my spouse to pass so that I can follow soon after. Maybe another five years or less. I've wanted to leave my current relationship for over eight years. Edit I would like to thank everyone for the advice and support. I have a lot of thinking to do and a massive conversation to have after that, we'll see how things play out. I tried to commit suicide several times. Three times in high school and twice two years ago. I'm a numb 30-year-old coward.
they stop being the darkest when you accumulate a few. Then they just become secrets and your life becomes dark. Pro tip. First BJ was from my stepdad's brother's stepdaughter. Same age and every time we meet up for the family gatherings it happens. I've lost track how many times. We are both in our forties now and we have never actually spoken about it. Currently? My boss just sent me a dick pic and I liked it. I once ate a party platter of delicious tropical fruit during a tour in Honduras and blamed it on monkeys. I deliberately flooded my family's basement to stop them from selling our house because I didn't want to move. It worked. The buyer backed out and we stayed put. When I was young my little brother and I were fighting. Later in the day I was going to make myself some nachos, we had a big tub of nacho cheese from Costco. He asked me to make him some. I put my balls in his nacho cheese. I've never told anyone. When I was much younger like, 13 I want to say, some random kid on Discord sent me a Tor link. Me being the young child I was who liked computers, I of course had Tor. This other kid who I had played games with for a whole day had sent me a link to child pronoun. I mean, it was barred. I have never blocked someone and uninstaller a program faster in my life. The face of one of the kids on the site is still solidly in my mind even many years later. The look of just pain haunts me. People are really just fucked up man. I regularly have threesomes with my wife and her best friend. Didn't think it would happen but they jokely brought it up, I talked about it later with the wife who was the one who brought it up and we both set our boundaries and agreed. This was all them. I don't tell anyone else because it's none of their business. It's fun though. That I was raped by a homeless guy in a tent next to some railroad tracks. But I finally just started telling PPL and I almost feel human now. I have many, but the first one that comes to mind is successfully hacking into Pete Doherty's email account in 2004. Logged into his messenger account with the same details and immediately got spammed with messages from concerned friends who were notified of the login he was either on a bender or in rehab at the time. Saw loads of names of relatively famous musicians of that era. I panicked, logged out, and sent an email to his manager apologizing profusely and promising I would never do it again. No, I didn't read any of his emails. I was mostly too shocked that I'd succeeded. I was molested by my mom's then boyfriend who is a policeman when I was in elementary, by my older sister's then boyfriend when I was in high school, and by my neighbor's son who have the same age as me. I wish death upon all of them. I should be in jail for a DUI. Last year, I crashed my car into a phone box drunk and no suspended license I just knew I was going to jail. But I thought quickly and called the cops first said a tow truck cut me off and I over-adjusted. Guy even ran my expired license and just gave it back to me. Think my registration was suspended too. Car was totaled but I was less than a block away from home so he just let me walk and that was the end of it. Every day I think about how incredibly lucky I am to be alive and on the outside and I've been sober since that day. Stole a hair chopstick at a department store when I was a kid because it looked like a fairy wand. Not really a secret but a desire. To live a life of minimum. I want less of everything. I sit in wonder at the complexities that go into making a single day happen. I have zero wants in life. I feel all they do is take from you. Was addicted hopelessly to Kratom for 15 years, 13 days clean today. Nobody knew, kept it my darkest secret, I'm sure they could tell by my glassy, bloodshot eyes, flushed face, and crackhead energy. Life is good to be among the living with emotions. Had a mental break when I was on deployment in the Navy. I decided to jump off the side of the ship, in front of people, in the middle of the Indian Ocean. I was in the water for over an hour when they found me. Haven't said a word about it in almost 20 years.